Okay, Michael, so uh, I would like to give you a quick quiz. Thanks. You're welcome, Michael. I'm about helping others. Okay, so here's the problem. Let me set it up for you, and you let me know if the, if, if the question doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we have a set of feet. We have a problem. We have a, a, a learning problem uh, that has four features in the input space, and I'm labeling them A, B, C, and D. Uh, and here's a table that has uh, some training data. Uh, you'll notice that it's all binary. I'm representing the binaries as zeros and ones here, and that's the space that they're in. And I have a label, minus or plus, which you could also think of as zeros and ones, okay? Okay. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to find the smallest subset of features of A, B, C, and D that's sufficient to get zero training error for these two different learning algorithms. Decision trees, the first one, and the second is a perceptron, but a very simple perceptron where you simply have W transpose X greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, you return positive. If it's zero or less, you return negative. Got it? I think so, yeah. Okay, and so what I have out here are a bunch of check boxes, and I want you to check off uh, the variables that you need or the features that you need in order to allow a decision tree uh, to get zero training error um, or to allow the simple perceptron to get zero training error. And are we supposed to do this thinking of it as a filtering thing or a wrapping thing or? Yes. I see. So you just want to answer us to answer the question. And yes, I want to answer the question, and um, as a hint. You should be thinking about this as a filtering or wrapping problem. <laughs> no, I was kind of hoping you'd tell me which of those two. Um, well, let's see. You were really good at picking filtering, so think about it as filtering. Oh, okay. So, so I'm not going to ask you, I'm not going to require as a part of the quiz that you tell me what criterion you were using, information gain or entropy or variance or anything like that. But when you give me the answer, I'm going to ask you to explain it to me because I'm curious what you're thinking. Okay. Okay, but I'm allowed to use the label to answer it too. Yes, you're allowed to use the label if you want to, if you think it's necessary. Right, because filtering methods, I, well, I guess you said that they they can have access to the label. Yes. Okay. You got uh, it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, so go.